Yeah. Eric Schicks is a CEO, Six is a CEO of Six Rent a Car. He joins us now. Sir, thank you very much uh, for joining us here on Quest Means Business. I was looking at one of your uh, news releases online, and it's, uh, and it's clear from what I saw that what your company has gone through, like so many companies, I may add, have really suffered dramatic losses, in, particularly in the first and second quarter. We're not out of the pandemic, and there's still so much uncertainty. So where do you see the next quarter? What is your plan, sir? Uh, first, uh, thank you for uh, having me in your uh, talk. Um, well, uh, I tell you, uh, we are at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we are seeing satellite uh, very bright coming. We had an excellent March, excellent uh, April. Excellent uh, May. Uh, we are seeing demand picking up drastically, especially in the United States. Mm. Uh, in the United States, uh, where we are at 2019 uh, level, uh, revenue is above 2019. The U.S. is back to uh, pre-COVID time, so. Uh, very encouraging. Mm. Uh, we see bright spots in Europe, especially in travel destinations like uh, Spain, uh, France, where reservations are coming in in a uh, large number. So we are looking forward mm. to a very good summer if uh, nothing unexpected happens naturally. Of course, and there's a, we are seeing, starting to see, sir, the easing of some restrictions. Uh, but it, like, you, like you pointed out, uh, there is a lot of uncertainty, especially when you look ahead to summer or families start preparing summer holidays. Uh, what trends are you seeing in light of the pandemic? Yeah, what I, what I see is, as a first, again, I must mention, and I like the United States uh, very much. That's why we are investing heavily in the United States in all mobility uh, products. Uh, in the United States, uh, I, I'm uh, very, very uh, optimistic. I don't see any uh, big risk in the United States. In uh, Europe, uh, well, uh, it uh, depends on the various uh, states, uh, some uh, acting uh, too cautious, uh, to my opinion. Uh, Which ones, like, sir? Uh, Which ones? Yeah, for example, uh, Germany, where our incident uh, rate is uh, very low, and we could loosen uh, restrictions. Uh, we also could uh, uh, lose restrictions in Mallorca, for example. In Mallorca, we're seeing a big uh, increase already, but still. Uh, it's, uh, it's a European problem. It's a, uh, Europe is overregulated, so you have to fill out all kinds of forms to uh, travel into Spain, to go back from Spain. It's uh, pretty ridiculous, you know. Mm. But I suspect, and you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I suspect that many people are, because of COVID-19, because of the pandemic, one, they are reluctant to make large investments, such as buying a car, so they probably hire your vehicles. People perhaps don't want to get public transport, so probably they rent a car as well. Are these some of the trends that you are seeing in light of, of the pandemic? Uh, absolutely. Uh, that's why we created a revolutionary product a subscription model, because we do see that people are very careful uh, in purchasing cars, and we offer them an extremely flexible solution. Uh, you pay a monthly fee, but mm. you can uh, return your car whenever you want. It's not like you're leasing, you know, when you're mm. uh, bound to a long contract. So we offer them the flexibility of practically owning a car, but can give it at any moment. And this uh, product is really exploding. And it goes exactly into the trend you just uh, mentioned, mm. that people are very, very careful. Yeah, very cautious, of course, given the fact that there are so many variants and so much uncertainty. Mr. Six, you know, you've been, I don't know if our viewers will know this, but you've been some at the helm of the company for some 50 years. Uh, and I believe that you're stepping down this month. You have transformed the business from a Munich-based family with the car rental business to, to really a global 
business. How do you feel and what advice do you have for your sons who I believe are taking over the reins? Well, uh, look, I'm uh, uh, partly stepping back. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still chairman of the board, but chairman of the non-executive board uh, tomorrow. Uh, we have our general assembly. Uh, yes, the advice I can give to them is uh, very simple. I, I survived, uh, in my 50 years, I survived uh, around seven heavy crises. And I tell you, uh, every crisis is a big opportunity. And they should never be worried. Uh, uh, it's survival of the fittest. And we, we use the opportunity in investing heavily in building uh, new products like 6 Plus, car sharing, etc. And uh, uh, now uh, we will benefit from the investment we did. We purchased in the United States in midst the heavy crisis. Then uh, <laughs> everybody looked uh, <laughs> like it's hopeless. Uh, we purchased uh, 10 airport concession in major airports with 3.4 billion revenue potential. And that's advice I can give. Never uh, ne never be uh, pessimistic. You must be, as an entrepreneur, uh, uh, taking, uh, taking chances. Never be afraid of a challenge, it seems. Uh, thank you very, uh, very much, sir. Congratulations on an incredible run an incredible job you've done and all the work you've done for the industry and uh, whenever your sons are ready we would love to speak to them thank you very much sir uh, i thank you it was uh, good talking to you thank you very much bye, -bye. likewise